Hey everyone, welcome back to Hacky Lessons to go over more cards coming in set 3 of the One Piece card game, Pillars of Strength. I had been calling it Mighty Enemy in previous videos, but that's the Japanese name for OP03. And speaking of the previous videos, if you haven't yet, check them out. I've been going over each color's set of cards in a video, each for each color. And in this video, we're going to be looking at Black, which is mostly Cypher Pole. Although it has a little bit of navy support as well. So the lead cards are Big Mum in yellow and black, and I covered her in the video for yellow. So this video will just be looking at the mono black leader, which is Rob Lucci. Lucci's effect is a once per turn, during your turn, when an opponent's character is KO'd, you can trash two cards from your hand in order to switch him back to active. As you more than likely know by now from playing Eustace Kid all this time, Leaders that get two attacks are very powerful, and when you can attach maximum Don to them for two attacks that are too strong to counter over, and Lucci's ability not costing any Don means that he could be attacking for 15,000. But fortunately, this leader does have some semblance of balance, only letting you switch back to active if you KO a character first. However, it's not specifying that the leader does the KOing, so you can attach 10 Don to it, attack their leader, KO a weaker character with one of your characters, and then attack the, with the leader again. So that's going to be something that's important to keep in mind when you are facing Luchi. Now getting into the Cypher Pole archetype now, and I'm specifically not calling it CP9 because not all of the cards are CP9. Some of them are CP6 and some of them are CP7, and there may be some deliberate future proofing for these cards to work when we eventually get a CP0 deck. So the searcher for the deck is Spandam. On play, he looks at the top three for one card with CP in its traits other than himself, and then you trash the other two cards. Airdor is a forecast event card that lets you look at the top five cards of your deck, reveal and play a five cost or less character with CP in its traits, and then trash the remaining cards from that search. And its trigger ability plays a three cost or less black character from your trash. Khalifar is a 2k counter. She costs four and has 4,000 power. And on play, draws two cards and then trashes two from hands. And then she reduces an opponent's character's cost by two for the turn. And Khalifar is at the cost reduction again with the event card Soap Sheep. And that just costs one to reduce two characters costs by two each and its trigger ability makes your opponent trash a card from their hand. For more cost reduction we got the stage card and his lobby and that is a two cost that can be played for trigger and it only works if your leader is cypher pole so you rest it and give up to one of your opponent's characters minus two cost for the turn. Now you may have noticed that this deck seems to trash a lot of its own cards. Another example is the world government official Corgi, he costs 1 on play, looks at the top 5, doesn't let you grab any, he just trashes 2 and then bottom decks the other 3, so why do this? Well, a few of the higher end cards for the deck take advantage of what is in the trash, so all of that trashing was set up for them. Luno is a 5 cost with 6000 power and a Don attached gives him blocker. On KO, he plays a 4 cost or less Cypher Pole from the trash in rest. Kaku is a 5 cost with 6000 power and on play lets you return 2 cards with CP in their traits to the bottom of your deck in order to KO a 3 cost or less opponent's character. The returning 2 to the bottom of the deck is the cost of the skill for Kaku to work, so you're going to need to do that setup earlier of making sure you have the cards in your trash. And you're going to want a good percentage of Cypher Pole cards in your deck for him to be consistent. Lucci is a 6 cost with 7000 power and he returns 2 CP cards from the trash to the bottom of your deck in order to gain Rush. So it's nice for Black to get a Rush card, but in order to use him you really need to be running a lot of Cypher Pole cards. We've got some CP skillless cards, Jerry, Nero, Kumadori and Jabra. Fukuro is 3 cost blocker that can't be KO'd by effects. Wanze is a 2 cost with 4000 power and on play you can trash a card from hand to KO an opponent's character at the cost of 1 or less. Tempest Kick Sky Slicer is a 2 cost event to KO an opponent's character that costs 0 or it can destroy a stage with a cost of 3 or less. 
If the Moby Dick was a band, this would be a must-have in all black decks, but even still, it's it's a most likely include. Plus, it has a nice trigger to draw two cards. Six King Pistol is your black version of the zero cost to and trash a card for a free free K counter. And it has a nice trigger of draw a card and KO a one cost or less. And that's all the Cypher Pole cards. And just to round up the video, let's look at the Navy support. So Hell Meppo is a bit of a situational card and Sanji players will dread it. So he only costs one. And on play, it reduces an opponent's characters without any original effects down to zero, no matter how much they cost. So it's pretty good when the opportunity actually comes up to play him, but otherwise he doesn't do anything. Brand new is a card that has sorely been needed, a searcher. So he costs two, has 3000 power, and searches the top three for a navy type card, but trashes the rest. Virgo is five cost with 5000 power. He has 2k counter, and with a Don attached, he can't be KO'd by battle. Isho, aka Fujitora, is an 8 cost with 9,000 power, and on play, if your opponent has 6 or more cards in their hand, he makes them trash 2. And Don times 1 during your turn, he gives all of your opponent's characters minus 3 cost. And that is all the black cards coming in OP03. What do you think of Rob Lucci? Seems to me he will be a pretty strong deck just for his ability to switch back to active alone. And you don't even need to KO the opponent's characters by attacking. KOing them with effects will do the trick. And the cost reduction ability in this deck is it's there, but it isn't as much as it is in the Navy deck. So the deck kind of doesn't seem to care as much about doing that kind of stuff, but you can always fit it in if you want. But just, you know, if you're using Navy cards, Make sure there's a good ratio of CP cards as well, so Luchi and Kaku can actually do their effects. Alright, um, make sure you've subscribed. There's one more color pool to go over, and when set 3 is in my hands, I will be doing my box opening videos, um, deck profiles, and might even be doing some gameplay videos as well. So I will see you then.